Uh, my name is Brian Moritz from the University of the Western Cape. I work in the Department of Biodiversity and Conservation Biology. Um, I work mostly on snake ecology and myself and some co-authors recently published a, a paper in the, in the journal Ecology. Um, we had been in the field in the Kalahari at Swalu Kalahari Reserve in the Northern Cape and had observed one of, uh, one of the many Cape Cobras there eating another male Cape Cobra. And that sort of cannibalism, although we knew it existed, we spent quite a lot of time thinking about how common it might be. And so we set out to try and find out just how common cannibalism and ophiophagy, which is the process by which one snake eats another snake, um, how common that is in, uh, in cobras as a group of snakes. Once we got into the literature, we were quite surprised to find out that uh, Cape Cobras and other Cobras in Southern Africa eat a surprising amount of other snakes, including their own kinds. Um, and so our findings suggest that actually snakes make up a huge proportion of Cobra diets, and far more so than people had thought before. Uh, this has a range of really important ecological impacts, uh, or potentially at least, uh, including influencing how snakes forage within communities, how snake communities might be assembled, and how snakes uh, deal with the risks associated with foraging in particular environments. The uh, people have always known that Cape Cobras and other Cobras eat other snakes and that they are cannibals. Uh, but the thing that made our research really novel is that we showed that this is happening way, way more commonly than people ever really expected. So in some cases we find that snakes make up to 40% uh, of the diet of some species of Cobras.